Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I am so sorry that I have not done a review in like nine days. I've just been so busy with school and I got food poisoning and it was just all around bad so I missed a lot of school and I had to do a lot of makeup work which of course took time away from my reading. But um, my review today will be on Royal Mess, A Royal Mess by Tyne O'Connell. So, yeah, I'll talk about that in a sec. I have some things to talk about first. Um, first thing is one of my subscribers has a blog, and they asked me if they could do, like, a little, um, like, excerpt on my YouTube channel because they, like, really liked it. And, of course, I said sure. So they did, like, a little article on me and put my um, review of the Night Circus on there. And they just said a lot of sweet things, and it was really nice. And they do, like, a vlog of the week on their blog, which is cool, because you can find, like, other um, booktubers and, like, the book community and everything. And they also do, like, their own reviews on books that they liked and everything. So, um, yeah, go check it out. It's www.resolution-corner.blogspot.com. And, yeah, so I'm forever grateful for that. So thank you if you're watching this. You're awesome. Um, the second exciting thing I have to talk about is I got a Twitter just for this YouTube channel, which um, I posted the link, like, right above my YouTube channel comment box. So if you have a Twitter, just follow me on there, and I'll follow you back. And I just, like, tweet about uh, what books I'm reading and, like, when I'll do reviews and just stuff like that. And I'm not a tweet Twitter whatever maniac. I don't tweet, like, 50 things a day, so don't have to worry about that. And um, if you're wondering why I'm not recording this on my webcam on my laptop is because it's being a meanie right now and not letting me do anything. So I have to record this on my phone. But uh, no big deal. I just can't like use my hands a lot. But yeah, so I uh, the review I'm doing is A Royal Mess by Tyne O'Connell. And this book is 8 pages shy of 500 pages. So it's pretty thick as you can see. And I got this in Barnes & Noble like two weeks ago for $10 in the best-selling teen section. So I was expecting it to be really, really good, and I just didn't really like it that much. But it wasn't like an overall bad book, but yeah. So I don't like to read the back of books because I just figure if you guys are going to buy it, you're going to read the back of it anyways. But basically, it's um, this girl, Calypso Kelly, and she's like in a uh, British royal school. And her parents put her there because um, she's from Hollywood and they, they don't want her to grow up in like the Hollywood lifestyle, I guess. So they sent her to this British school where she goes to school with all these royal kids. And that was where her mom went. So she like had a really good experience there. So she wants Calypso to go there too. And oh, by the way, this is the second book, which I didn't know. Um, but yeah, the first one's called A Royal Match. But, yeah, I was, like, kind of scared when I saw that because I didn't realize it when I bought it. And I was like, great, I'm not going to know anything in the book. Like, this is all going to be confusing. But it actually wasn't. It's The first book, I guess, was, like, when she came to, um, like, England and, like, met everyone. And she didn't really fit in. And this book is, like, how she does fit in. And she's dating this guy who is going to be um, the king one day. And his name is Freddy. And she calls him Freds, which I think is adorable. Um, but yeah, so the back of the book just says that Freddie dumps her, and um, she wants to do like a counter dump. So, I don't know, the book just like dragged for me. It was just taking a long time, and I just wasn't intrigued, and I, I hate to say it, but I was forcing myself to finish it because I wanted to read The Hunger Games. I know, it's terrible, but... Yeah, um, it wasn't a terrible book, it was funny, it had a lot of humor, um... She has, her best friend's name is Portia, and they um, are on the fencing team together, so they spend a lot of time together. And of course, you always have to have one of the bratty girls in there who ruins everything, and her name is Honey. She just causes a lot of drama. Um, but yeah, it's just her and her, like, royal friends, and some of them are, like, princesses and stuff, so that's kind of cool. But it's just, like, their rich lifestyle and how she's dating a prince and she gets to go to the castle and, like, everyone's just really jealous of her because um, they all want to date him, too. But then he realizes he's not right for her, that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, so, again, it's called A Royal Mess. And I don't know. I feel like I'm not saying that much about it. 
She's a really good writer. She enters his writing contest um, about like a tragic thing that happened in her life, but nothing really tragic has happened in her life except her parents go through like a little bit of a split in the book. Um, so she's like stressing with that and trusting with like dating the prince and everything, but it wasn't really anything to remember. Um, so out of like five stars, I'd probably give it maybe like 2.5, 3 maybe. Um, but yeah, so... It's it's a slow read, like if you just, you know, just want something to like slowly pace yourself or whatever, just pick up that. Um, but yeah, now I'm reading The Hunger Games, and I feel like I'm the only person in the world that has not read The Hunger Games. And I started reading it last night. Here, let me grab it. I started reading it last night, and I'm already like almost halfway through. And I love it. I cannot believe I haven't picked this up sooner. What the heck? This is awesome. I already love Katniss. She's great and, like, such a strong character. And I don't think I'm going to re do a review on these books because everyone else has already read them, so it would be stupid to do a review. But I think I'm just going to do, like, maybe, like, an opinion video on, like, and just, like, talk about it. And, like, if you guys have read it, you can leave, leave your comments, too, and, like, you're excited for the movie if you um think that they picked like good characters to play the characters in the book and stuff like that but yeah i am just going to go read this now for the rest of the night and not have any social contact with anyone because yeah hunger games is more important but yeah so hope you guys are having a good week um sorry if this is like an awkward angle i mean i'm so mad that my webcam is not working because this was supposed to be like a Valentine's Day themed video. That's why I did like a romance. I tried to pick a romance um, book with like the royal mess or whatever. And it, it is, it's just like a little romance type book. But yeah, so hope you guys are having a good week and happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you're in a relationship, if you're not, you should still go out and buy candy and eat it and have yourself a good old time. All right. Bye, guys.